Okay, a couple of classic mistakes, um, and I've already kind of mentioned one of them. The first is that students assume that you can only divide by 2 in order to simplify. So let's divide by 2. We get 28 over 70. Dividing by 2 again, because at least the student has asked themselves this time, oh yeah, I, I can still simplify. Uh, or can I still simplify? Yes, you can. OK, so 14 over 35. Ah, now I can't simplify anymore, because this one's even. It divides by 2, but this one isn't even. It won't divide by 2 except that, as I said before, it's all about common factors. It's not about whether it divides by two. That's not the only common factor that ever exists in the world. So what do they both divide by? Seven. So simplifying that, then I'll get two over five. And I'm still gonna keep trying to simplify. So I've gotta ask myself, right, is there a common factor of two and five? No, there isn't, okay, other than the number one, forget that. Okay, other than number one, there are no more common factors. So in which case, that is the simplest form. But I don't make any assumptions about that being the simplest form until I've asked myself the question, can I, are there more common factors to find? Okay, and then the next classic mistake is, is really the same kind of thing. I can't divide by two, what can I divide by? Um, I can divide by five. Okay, so dividing both of those by 5, I get 12 over 15. And then they say, right, okay, well, can't simplify any further. 12 over 15, we've got an even number and an odd number. Those both, you know, both of those don't divide by 2. I can't think of any more common factors. Well, this is where your times table knowledge comes in. Because if you think that 12 and 15 don't have any common factors other than 1, what well, you'd be mistaken in this case, because yes, they do. Three goes into both of them. What do I get then? I get nine over, sorry, what do I, I don't get nine over anything. I get four over five. I'm gonna ask myself yet again, because I'm never convinced until I've got the answer, no, there are no more common factors. Four and five, any common factors? No, not really. Other than one, so in that case, that is the simplest form. Okay, so just to be really clear about the classic mistakes that people sometimes make. One is that they think you can only ever divide by two in order to simplify. Well, I've shown here that that is not the case. The next classic mistake that they make is to think they've fully simplified when they can't think of any more factors. They would say to me that 12 over 15 is is fully simplified. Um, however, they haven't considered other options. Okay, so three was a factor of 12 and 15, which allowed me to simplify further. Okay, so do keep checking your final fraction and ask yourself, are there any common factors of the numerator and the denominator? And if there are, divide again. If there aren't, you've got your simplest form. Okay, that's the end of that video. I hope that picks up some more marks for you in the exam. Bye.